by uh, pilot Greg Johnson. Michael Good, mission specialist, performed two spacewalks on the mission. Megan MacArthur, the flight engineer of the mission, conducted the bulk of the robotic arm operations. John Grunsfeld, the lead spacewalker for the flight, uh, joined with uh, Drew Foistel on three of the spacewalks. Mike Massimino, the taller of the uh, tallest of the crew members, performed two of the spacewalks with Michael Good. And uh, the last crew member there, Drew Foistel, he performed three of the spacewalks uh, combined with uh, John Grunsfeld uh, during the uh, Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission. Atlantis' uh, STS-125 mission was the sixth uh, space shuttle flight devoted to Hubble Space Telescope uh, activities. Uh, STS-125, the fifth and final servicing mission to the telescope. Scott Altman uh, completed uh, his fourth flight into space. John Grunsfeld there on the uh, left uh, completed his fifth uh, mission. And uh, Greg Johnson uh, completed his first flight with STS-125. Drew Foistel uh, completed his uh, first mission into space as well. A crew uh, traditional walk around of the vehicle. Uh, Atlantis uh, completed uh, its 30th flight into space. Mike Massimino uh, there on the left uh, completed his second flight into space. He uh, joined Grunsfeld and Altman on the, uh, the last servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope in March. 2002. crew uh, plans to return home to Houston either uh, this afternoon or uh, or Monday.